Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a neat little tip with you to hold your command windows open if you've got an error or if they crash. So time and time again, I'm asked in the actual YouTube comments, um, people are saying that the actual command window, they're trying to run the mining programs and the window just opens and closes instantly. So they know they've got an error, but they can't see exactly what the actual error is. So I'm going to show you how to resolve that particular problem uh, and then you can find out what the error is and hopefully do a little bit of investigation and get it sorted. So first of all this is just a Nexus CPU miner and what I've done is we've got a few batch files down the bottom and I've set this one up to give you kind of an example of what the uh, the problem is that I'm talking about. So if I uh, double click on the start.bat you'll see the window, the command window opens just for a split second and closes again and again so that indicates that there's some kind of error, but because it opens and closes so quickly, um, no one can really determine what the error is. So what I'm going to show you is a, a neat little trick that will basically hold that window open, and then you can see what the actual error is. So there's two ways to do it, but I'll show you uh, both of them actually. So this one is we can actually edit the batch file. So we just open it with Notepad. And then on the bottom line of your batch file, you want to add the text uh, pause. Oh, sorry. Typo, double typo there, which can happen when you do these batch files, and that's one of the main reasons for them to close and open. So in the last line, we're just going to add the text pulls, and then we're going to save it. Make sure you save it as a .bat batch file, not a text file. Close that. Now this time we're going to double click on it. So what it's going to do this time is it's going to run the actual command line, the first uh, command lines integrated within the actual batch file itself. But regardless of what happens, whether it runs those or not, it's going to go down to the next line, which is this pause, and that's going to basically keep this command window open, regardless of what the error is. Um, and then that allows you to basically investigate a little bit more um, about the error, what caused the actual command window to close. So you can see in this case, it basically processes the actual command, so it's nexus underscore, underscore CPU minor, and you can see there's actually a typo in there, so I've actually added a extra R, so that's just a typo, and you can see that the error there is nexus underscore CPU minor dot exe is not recognized as an internal or external command. So basically it's telling us that the actual name of the file is wrong. We can see that, and it gives us a clue as to exactly uh, what the problem is. So from there we can go back, we can edit our batch file. We can see it's just a typo, it's just got an extra R in there, or whatever the problem may be. And we go to file, and we go to save it again. And then this time we are going to run it, and the window stays open, and it runs the actual program, you know, uh, properly. So that's a good indicator. Uh, one other way you can do it is if I just go back and uh, change it to the way it was originally. So we'll just put the batch file back to the way it was, and you can do this um, either way. So the other way to do it is if you open up an actual command window and run all your commands. Uh, from basically by typing them in. So if you press um, find the folder that you want to run the actual uh, miner in and then you want to press uh, shift uh, right click and then you want to open a command window here. So this is the command window where you can type your commands. Um, so you want to do start dash uh, demo dot app so it's going to run the actual start.demo.bat, just like we did in the first instance. We press enter. Uh, but this time it's going to show you the actual error, and it's going to keep that uh, command window open. So as before, you can keep that, um, it will keep the window open, you can see the error, and then basically fault find the actual problem. Um, for most of the faults, it's either going to be a typo, there's going to be something wrong with the actual syntax, um, something like that, or if you're using like a 32-bit version of Windows or the wrong uh, format minor, things like that. They're all kind of common problems that you'll encounter, um, but hopefully this will help you um, discover exactly what's causing those problems and then you can go about actually um, addressing it. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of keep it fairly uh, focused and hopefully this is a useful tip uh, for you guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching and it is useful. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks again for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe, uh, give it a like if you did like it, and um, you know share it with other people if you think it might be useful for them as well. So that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video.